Hey everyone, welcome back to Coffee Time. Today, we're having coffee. So I always encourage my network, my community, to pick up a new skill sets when they're having some downtime. So today, I want to share with you guys this new book I've been reading. It's called Machine Learning at Scale with H2O. Now, I just want to say completely in good faith that before I read this book, before I talk to a pet publisher, I actually only heard of this content on first name basis. I have not used it before and I'm not by all means an expert in developing models in H2O. And then right off the bat, we talked about Anaconda, we talked about TensorFlow, we talked about AWS. And we have all these amazing libraries and platforms out there for you to develop scalable machine learning product, which then begs the question, what's the whole point of doing this? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. So as a disclosure, I received this book from Pat Publisher, and it's a great honor to work with them. I've particularly had a lot of fun reading all these books and doing reviews for all these books. This particular title is in regards to this new platform called H2O. And I said earlier, I have not used it before. So hopefully this video will provide a relatively new perspective as if I'm a beginner. So with that being said, that leads to my first thing to mention, which is the author and contributor of this book. So there are two authors of this title. The first one is Gregory Keyes, and the second one is David Witten. Keyes is a senior solution architect at H2O, whereas Witten is a data science director. Both of these authors have 20 plus years of experience in this field, specifically working on this kind of platform. So I would say that, hey, as a beginner reading this book, just getting to know this content, this is probably the best source that you're ever gonna get. So right off the bat, I put a lot of value in every video I make in regards to particularly the authors, the contributors, and I value that industry experience, right? And this is not just in regards, and this is not just in regards to this video, based on all my past interview experience, other experience of talking to other people, industry experts, the industry experience will give you that domain knowledge. And that domain knowledge really trumps whatever technology modeling skills that you can bring on the table. Okay? So right off the bat, I will say that you're in good hands. Right? If this is a new content you want to get familiar with these authors are probably the best people to go for. So, in regards to the content, what is H2O? H2O is an open source, scalable, efficient machine learning platform for data scientists in the industry as well as in academic. I read through the book, one of the first impression I got was these functions are extremely easy to be read on the eyes. And there's almost not any necessity of any further explanation. As long as you know machine learning, as long as you're a data scientist, this book is fairly easy to read, okay? Every function is very straightforward, names are spelled out. Every argument of the function is tied up to how you build a model from a theoretical perspective. And the function's output makes total sense. We're talking about data frame, we're talking about arrays, are all packed together in a nice, efficient manner. So right off the bat, I think this is something that we can definitely take as a benefit from using this platform as well as reading this book, which is if you are aiming to deploy personalizable machine learning pipeline in production from end to end, and you really worry about the results and the tuning, and you're really worrying about how to scale up when you have new data or when you have big data, then I think this material definitely gives you the strength to understand all of that. So right off the bat, the first two chapters immediately start with the challenges, the opportunities in the industry, where things are used, how machine learning models are deployed, and then jumps into the hello world example, right? Every platform, every library has a hello world example. And it really just diving straightforward right off the bat and gives you a fresh start of how things work in this framework. So that's one thing. The next thing I will say that's very helpful for me is the integration of different platforms as well as different source of data. In the old days, if you want to upload a CSV file, you use Pandas. It's a library in Python 
you load it up and you just say re-csv however what if you have a file that is in a secret network on AWS or somehow it's encrypted you gotta set up your API you gotta set up the encryption process so use this library called BOTO B-O-T-O so this BOTO library unfortunately takes like a few lines of code for you to set up the process before you even start loading in the data me personally I've used this a lot it doesn't really bother me that much but I've heard people complain that hey every time I load the data from AWS I gotta set up five six lines of code before I even start loading my data and you know what I'm not gonna work with that that's just too complicated for me well it turned out H2O provides a good alternative that takes one line of code for you to set up that encryption process so I would say in terms of these trivial details H2O definitely has a strength now that being said of course what is the story here is well if you want to make things convenient for your employees you gotta come to H2O subscribe to their service and do all that stuff which then of course will make things simple right so we're talking about the cost and the efficiency of accessing the secure data you're not gonna get both right you pay the money you come to good service and they tune things down for you one line of code or you don't pay the money or you pay less money which means lower cost and you gotta write a few more lines of code to set up the encryption process so right off the bat I think that's gonna be something interesting for all of you guys to consider right if you're doing a personal project where this is open source and you can just download the package and use it I will say give H2O a shot right it is making things convenient it is less lines of code well if it's making your life easier go for it of course for industry for companies I can't speak for you guys take a look at the pricing strategy figure out the cost if it makes sense then you can of course subscribe to their service but in terms of this video I want to tune things down I want to keep things simple so let's just land here and I'll let all of you guys to figure out what comes afterwards but this trade-off between cost and access to secure data is definitely one of the big issues that's out there and I think what H2O is doing here is to provide playground for everybody to check it out right whether you're an individual contributor or your corporation this is definitely one of the platform that you can go for and then as I keep reading this book there are lots of interesting nicknames for all these fancy packages that the developer of H2O is cooking up which I thought would be interesting to share with you guys if you guys are in data science chances are most of you guys have heard of this thing called APAC or APAC spark or maybe some of you say Apache spark right so Apache or APAC spark is an open source analytical engine for big data analysis nowadays we're not going to be dealing with an Excel spreadsheet that is nice and easy right you just drag and drop I hope things are that simple but let me tell you at my work it was never that simple right you can come across with some file that's 10 gigabytes and that's considered a small size and chances are you have a folder of hundreds of those files and all adds up together and then you can imagine the size right and then these folders are generated on a daily basis so that's kind of the scale of data that we're talking about and it's not something that you can just drag and drop using your mouse so in this sense APAC Spark is definitely one of the things in the industry that you should be familiar with if you're a data scientist so in this case H2O has come up with this new fancy platform that incorporates this package APAC Spark and guess what they have a new fancy name called sparkling water so sparkling water really is to pack together all of the fancy things that you can use in APAC Spark and it is really a nice integration to allow people to use spark in h2o which then allows h2o to have the capacity to handle large-scale data sets so i thought that was very interesting and throughout this book i definitely see a lot of overlap with spark a lot of overlap with even scikit-learn in the modeling part so it definitely is making my life easier right i don't need to take a whole new course about h2o as long as no scikit-learn as long as i know spark I can go ahead and just start using H2O, right? So I would say that if you are 
in the data science industry for a couple of years and you have not used H2O, H2O is very easy to pick up. But even if you're a new data scientist, H2O should still be very easy to read off on. What I would really point out is this book really assumes that you have the technical background, right? You know what the loss function is. You know what the gradient descent is. And it is important to know those things because if your model fails or if your model is overfitting, you need to know how to take it from there, right? The introduction of this book is focusing on the platform of H2O, but how to use that platform from a theoretical perspective, that's up to you, right? And that's up to your knowledge and your experience of the domain knowledge of the data, as well as the theoretical perspectives, right? Does the loss function even converge, right? Is this even allowed to be integrable? Is the function even allowed to be taken derivative of? So all those things matter. And I would want to say that this book rather focus on the platform. So it assumes that you have that technical background. So with that being said, the last thing I want to emphasize is this book comes with a thoroughly written GitHub repository such that I can just load it up and start running the code. It's a very simple process. The entire pipeline that we're talking about, data collection, data processing, model building, model evaluation, hyperparameter tuning, and model deployment. This entire pipeline end to end, every step of the way, you can pretty much get it done with one line of code in H2O. And let me just tell you, that is not something that any other platform ha can have a confidence to make that claim off. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun reading this book. I think it's a great start for people who are getting into data science, for people who want to know this new platform called H2O. And if you like the content, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.